Activate disintegrators. So what's up, everybody? WMCH live from the studio. How you guys feeling? This is awesome. I don't, I don't right? think we can call this live because it's recorded. Really. Well, I mean, it's like you know what live means. I'm trying my best, but like I don't <laughs> really look. So I don't look at a dictionary too often. Like, how often are you in front of like an, encyc- an encyclopedia or like a dictionary? That's generally. You know what live means. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> that's generally out of the camera. Silly goose, we got we got a we got a good camera going this time. It's awesome. That's great. But uh, you know, how you how'd you guys feel this week? I was pretty pretty run down, honestly. I wore to next to nothing. Honestly, my paycheck is gonna be so shit. <laughs> I was out Monday. I told I started to tell you this. I I was late to work four hours on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I work. Please <laughs> tell him this because this was this was funny. To I hear. work nine to five. I woke up at twelve. Right, mm-hmm. and I was already late. So Tuesday I was late an hour. And I told my boss it was because my truck was having issues, which wasn't a lie, but, like, it was kind of a lie, you know? I was like, I woke up at 9.15, I was like, fuck, you know, work is 30 minutes away. So I just threw on my boots and ran out. Got there at, like, 10. I thought he was pissed. He was, but I don't know if it was just because it was, like, so comically late, (laughs) you know, that he wasn't upset with me. But I got there, I got to work, my shift starts at 9, right? I got there at (laughs) 1. Kellen gets pissed at me all the time because I have to get up at like seven and I'll just call him at like seven thirty and you are clearly I'll be in like, bed. I'll you're be just like not conscious. Up. I'll be getting up. He answers just like hello. Yeah, because you yeah, call like, me you on call Friday me at, or Thursday. You accuse me of doing it on purpose, and I wish it was because that like actually be funny. Yeah, I do think you do it on purpose. He does it on purpose. No, dude, I just wake does up. Does he with call like, you at ungodly hours of the day? No, <laughs> it's just you. It's just me. Yeah. I get all my, like, technical questions in the morning. Yeah, I know, dude. I have to answer them when I'm, like, not even conscious yet. My brain races when I get up. The There's nothing he, I can do about it. The only time he calls me is when he's mad at me. That's not true. <coughs> no, that's not true at all. You did call him today and you were mad at him. No, I was livid today. For what reason? You were Pat, you love to show up late to every... We had, like, it's a just, little... It, I show up my own time. Not to mention Pat... This morning was like I don't look at the group chat. I'm a foreman. <laughs> <laughs> I oversee everything. I don't have to listen to you. <laughs> the whole time you're like, "Where's Will? When's <laughs> <He's laughs> Will coming?" It was. It was clearly. <laughs> we've been talking about it for like three days that he's not coming. <laughs> <laughs> it was clearly stated that Will was going to be busy uh, away from the studio today. So, uh, but Pat just didn't look at the group chat, and it's fine, you know. It's fine. And then I then I called Pat and I was like, "Hey, please tell me you like remembered your mic. I know you're like four. You live like five late. minutes away, and you were an hour late. <laughs> 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 he, told me, he told me that um, to come later because you're coming. And then you, were, I saw the text that you were getting in the shower, so I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna wait." And then time just flew by. Time gets away from you constantly. It's this not just. Means, it's not to just be today. Honest, it was. I was pooping a lot before I came <laughs> <laughs> for four to five minutes. Now, no. That's that's kind of reasonable though. Taking a shiver. Depending on the poop, dude. That's for good. sure. I had you heard. fucking, you guys know. You guys know. Yeah, but like, but my, mine are like, like I don't do like an hour at a time. I do like 15 minute like increments every few hours. Maybe that's what he did. I, had, um, I can't speak for him though. I He's going to have to answer that. an all star burger and so pretzel dining? bites that I dipped in nacho cheese last night. I'm also lactose tolerant. Oh, uh, you also theorized that you have like celiac. Yeah. Well, the, the, yeah. I have to get, if that's I have true. To test. Oh. I'm supposed to get blood tests like an hour ago. (laughs) 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 Thank God you're late for that. (laughs) And you made this happen. Oh, you learned something. Yeah, you know, just possible celiac diagnosis. It's not important. It can wait. uh, Celiac, uh, uh, (laughs) adrenaline, if I have too much adrenaline, causes my heart. Is that like a pituitary? I do feel like you're turned on a lot. Like you're wired a little bit. It just goes up goes up and down. Yeah, Mark Alfred has that. I feel like that's like what like energy is, right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you just Maybe trying to you tell just like normal? have like energy. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't think it's ADHD. I think it, it's probably more than that. I feel like everyone has ADHD now. That yeah, 
I mean, I feel like they. I feel how like much of like, it's legit? Though? They're, they're like you can't focus, and then and then they're like you have ADHD, and if you can focus, like you can focus on things. You've got ADHD, so I feel like it's like a little bit of a null point now. I think doctors just mm. want to prescribe shit. Big pharma is like yeah. fucking. They gave me Concerta. They gave me Concerta <laughs> uh, senior year of high school. What is that? It's like Ritalin. It's like Adderall, but it's Concerta. It's the same thing. It's just. It's Did just you have thing. like appetite issues when you were taking that? Oh I yeah, I stopped yeah, eating no. for a week. Yeah, no, it's fucking brutal. I'm on these anxiety meds right now, and they're fucking my food up. I can't eat. I start, I start, I always do, but it's way worse now. In the mornings, when I try to eat, I just start eating. I just don't, I don't, I, I, uh, I don't take those pills anymore. I took them. Isn't it kind of backwards that, like, there's so many, like, fucking ADHD pills getting prescribed, and yet all of America is still fat, and they cause, like, horrific, like, eating Whoa, problems. Dude. What, what you fat? <laughs> yeah, what's your problem? Yeah, dude. One third of the room is skinny. Is that why? Do you I look skinny to you guys? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. You're not skinny, but you're not fat. Yeah. Am I? Am I skinny? I feel, I, feel like, I feel like skinny means not fat. Yeah. Not, like, not, like, stick. Yeah. I don't think that... <laughs> I see, but, like, that's how we describe it, so you yeah. have to listen to us. I am outnumbered. I, yeah, I, am, I am outnumbered and I feel like uh, you should feel Palestine. bad about yourself. But <laughs> that's another good question because you were trying to explain this to me um, last time you were here. I don't really understand what's going on with Israel and Palestine. I don't want to talk about Israel and Palestine. Can we pull up a picture of Israel? Yeah, hold on. Where's the Dude. fucking. Jamie, Jamie. <laughs> we picture? need a Jamie, dude. Can you put on the TV? We need, we need a fucking Jamie. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get a yeah, Will picture of the fucking Israel. Yeah. Will, yeah, Will's gonna be fucking Jamie. Where's Jamie? Is there like? If he shows up here, he's getting hurt. <laughs> that was such a funny bit. This I don't think. I don't. Was think that think last? So night? you didn't read the. You didn't read the group chat. No. He was like, he was like, I can't be there tomorrow. I was like, all right, good, because if you show up, you're getting hurt. And he was like, he was like, he was like, um, okay. And I was like, yeah, sorry, bro. It's just like, it's not like I want to. No, stop with the fucking Israel and Palestine shit. <laughs> <laughs> you said pull it up. So I was joking. I don't want. Uh. That is funny that is Israel out of Is that the OC fighter right there, the Star of David? Is that his? Like, yep, like, yep. It's, uh, it's Israel out of Sanya versus Palestine. Um, that's what they didn't tell you. Is oh, that uh, you know, on the 16th, uh, there's two major events going on. First of all, Israel and Palestine are uh, going against each other in the World Cup. And oh. also, there's a little Tekka concert in Worcester. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Little Tekka, <laughs> dude. <laughs> so, little Tekka's awesome. Oh, yeah. I'm planning on going to a little Tekka concert. Yeah, little Tekka concert. Yeah. A little Uzi Vert. I don't know who that is. Maybach, Maybach. <laughs> you are hilarious. You know that? You make me laugh. With the glasses, I can't tell if you're, like, joking or not. <laughs> that is probably tough. But, yes, it's a joke. I, I do a lot of bits, and sometimes they don't work because. Yeah, that one didn't work. I'm you know. Breathing heavily in the mic the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Your bit is irrelevant. <laughs> I'm gonna breathe. You just go like. Nah, Will. Will was being hella patriotic, dude. He was planting all those flags at that like veterans cemetery. Yeah, I know. I How did like, he get that? What? Do you sign up for that? I think that's community service. You sign up for that. Is nope. he a boy? Dude, he's like 20. We can't be Boy what? Scouts anymore. <laughs> we can't. Dude, you can be an Eagle Scout. You, no, you age out I think someone's going to look at you weird if you're I like, I was a Boy Scout for four years. You age out at 18. Eagle Scout is like forever. Yeah, forever. Is he an Eagle Scout? <laughs> he actually might be. <laughs> no, he actually might be. I have. I, we're, we'll have to text him after this and be like, yo, are, are you, you an Eagle Scout? I feel like he says I'll something. text him right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah text him right. We need, we need the confirmation. Right. Like now. Like now. That'd be funny. Oh, who? I don't know. It's a, it's a funny thing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, Will, are you an Eagle Scout? That's it. I sent that to the group chat. Well, voice note. We'll get your answer back in probably two hours because Will's better than us. You know, he doesn't look at his phone ever. Well, someone else in this room doesn't look at their phone often, but. No, he's on his phone. He just doesn't check our texts. <laughs> yeah, no, that is probably true. <laughs> that is true. There's so many words. Yeah, I mean, so many words. Well, that's why you sent me you sent me voice notes. <laughs> that's why we try and do voice notes because it's it's easier. Yeah, but then I'm listening to Bluetooth. 
Oh, God forbid you you. To have be to fair, listen. it does interrupt my music. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, like maybe. I was sitting, I was sitting where I got the sandwich today. I was sitting outside in the parking lot, and, and somebody started screaming into a voice note, and, and I played oh, yeah, that, that like me. really loud over my over my car radio, and everybody was looking at me. I got really angry this morning because I was setting up this whole this whole like corner of the room looked different this morning, and it took me like pretty much until you guys got here to finish it. So I was like fucking scrambled. My brain was scrambled, and I was angry at whoever was gonna. Bring up some bullshit. Mm. What bullshit? Yeah. Guess who was big? Well, when I figured out that the two mics that yeah, I you ordered, were the target today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I when I figured out I did not have the right cable connections for two new mics that I spent a hundred bucks each on, I was pretty livid. And then Pat was like, "Dude, you bought two new mics. You maybe buy a mic last week." And I was like, "Yeah, there's four of us that belong to this crew." I want a new mic. But you said my name in the voice memo. You said. Pat and Kellen, you uh, something. You need to bring so your they, life. Yeah, and I was like, I'm already fucking doing that. You made me buy one, asshole. Well, the whole point was yeah, that. Yeah, not a $100 one. No, it was a good That was a it person. Was, it was $86. And tax? I don't know. Was tax included in that? Uh, no. So then it's like $95. That was a personal choice, though. I, uh, you you six, called six, me like when six, you bought. Yeah, I mean, look, no, no, don't, don't get me wrong. Like, this was this was my. I I did this to myself. Yeah, no. Like I, like, I, I you like, could have bought it. that one. I could. have. Yeah, this was like forty dollars. I've had this for years. This I I, I had the same. No, I had the same exact one. His I, mic was so then dented. Why did you just bring the one at your house? Because I was getting yelled at relentlessly. His by mic. Guy, listen, and we like, have to go and buy one. So then I also saw this. Dude, he told me to. He told me to bring one. I just grabbed this off my computer. Yeah. Well, he said I. Yeah. So here's the thing. Literally, I've been on. Uh, yeah, you could have brought your one from your home PC. Yeah. Well, I was getting berated with texts. He was like, "Oh, you gotta get one." I've been on Discord with Kellen before, so I knew he had a good mic. I tested Pat's mic audio on Discord before, and it wasn't good. This is the same one. I, I'm, you know what? Well, next week, I'm bringing. I'm bringing Pat. So we'll test both. Two, so we no, we're gonna so we can test both. Double the fucking problems. So Listen. we can have one. Free, we didn't have to find another one. <laughs> no, because I want to use that. That uh, looks funny. There's that's funny. There's two oh, brand new mics. Uh, they're not upset anymore. See? Those are cool. See? These, are, these are heavy. They're they're professional. Those are a hundred bucks each. Why did you yeah, buy this, bro? Because they're fucking you can, awesome. You could got you could get do you have blue do you have a Bluetooth chip in your PC? I don't. I should probably Jamie, you can use this one. Yeah, yeah, I guess we could just fuck them over and be like, hey Will. Hey, Will, you can't be on screen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Will, Will, this is your, um, this is how you figure out that you're becoming the Jamie of this podcast. Yeah, as you can see, it's an XLR connection. Everyone loves Jamie. Everybody's going to love Will. What's Jamie from? JRE, dude. Joe Are we? Oh. Uh, I don't watch the Joe Rogan apparently. Oh. No. I don't watch podcasts. I watch, um. He's I watch, like, I watch our podcast. I watch not anybody um, else's. I watch TMG. Do you know TMG? Tell me, gang. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love Noel. He's funny. Dude, Joe, did you see that clip of fucking Joe and Shane Gillis where Joe's like fucking, uh, he's like, I don't mind a, a buff chick. Buff <laughs> chick with armpit hair. I had a conversation with a buddy about oh, that was you. Was, like, was it? You love muscly women? No, that was, no, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> well, I, no, I don't think you've ever talked to me about my preferences. He's, he's the so. only difference between him and Joe was the armpit hair. Did he? We did they both? At dinner and we were like, this is after the breakup, and he was like, hey, "What's your type?" And I told him, and I was like, "What's yours?" And he was like, "You know, Adam's apple, <laughs> <laughs> muscular, bald I'm on shoulders." I'm on that Napoleon type shit. <laughs> yeah. Napoleon? Yeah, just like wear the same clothes for like four days. You don't know that? What? He he went out. He went away to war, and he left his wife with a note that says, "Don't change your underwear. I'll oh, be back in three days." Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, that's cool. That's a dog. That's dog mentality. You know. Yeah, but he likes it fermented. Best, yeah. best fermented general. Did he, fuck, did he fuck that broad from Egypt? Cleopatra. Yeah. No, that was Julius Caesar. Bro, or Augustus Caesar. Cleopatra. One of the Caesars. He was. It, I feel like he, he was in Egypt. But, I feel like but Cleopatra all those... was like a thousand years before. No, it wasn't Cleopatra. <clears throat> There's some other famous person from Egypt. That's the only famous person I know from Egypt. That's the only famous person from Egypt. Except Raul M- Menendez. I could be joking. Raul Menendez. Who is that guy, anyway? He was the guy that was on Piers Morgan. No, 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 no. Yeah, but what's his name? Basim? I don't know, sure? but he's he's got his he's got his own, like, Piers Morgan-type show in Egypt. That's that's why he's... Is that where he's from? 
Yeah, he's from Egypt. Yeah, I don't know much about him. I just remember it popping up on my TikTok. And be like, Black Ops 2 happening in real life. And then everyone be. Was it? Yeah. I liked the first one better. I, 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 like, I like that one. I played that way more than BO2. That was just one, one of the first, of the first games I got from my PS3. If yeah. we're talking like campaigns, though, I love World at War. And maybe I'm just a sucker World for World at War. World at War is my all time favorite, except for MW3. The OG MW3. They just released yeah. the new MW3. Mm-hmm. You like MW3 over MW2? I do. I mean, it's respectable. I think the story wrapped up. I like it wrapped up better. I, I think that playing MW2, it was fun and every, like I liked the campaign, but like I didn't like how it left off. That okay. last mission's iconic, though. Mm-hmm. No, it is like I, I I'm not saying I dislike MW2. I'm just no, I know, I like but I'm just a little better. Yeah. What was the last mission for three? Oh yeah, you the killed. Last mission oh, for three, juicy! Last, I forgot. The last mission for three is uh, I forgot. Dust to Dust. You that was really in, good. You're in Juggernaut suits with Price, and you're playing as Yuri, and then you switch to Price because Yuri gets shot, and then Yuri gets killed by Makarov, and then you. You hang Makarov with a helicopter yeah. tow cable. Dude, that is such a tough decision. Those I was playing that at like 10 years old, and I was like... Here's here's the, the first COD that I grinded. That was what got me into COD. Were you a campaign guy, though? Yeah. I was always a campaign I, guy. I, 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 before I played multiplayer, I had to be the campaign. It was hard for me to yeah. play the BO2 I can't. Campaign. I can't play the multiplayer before the campaign. When I, was in, cause when I got uh, BO1, what was it, like second grade? Something like that. Um... Yeah, but not that. I thought to unlock the multiplayer map, you had to. Uh, you had to play with the campaign. And then, like, after that year, I, was, I realized. I grinded World at War. Dude, World at War is such a I fun game. I grinded that it's shit so, so hard. I was I bought all the DLCs on the 360. I think it is like probably bucks. the best campaign. Except the zombie ones. I all of the, the Call of Duty DLCs. Mm-hmm. What's a better campaign? Uh, I would. I think that I would argue. Maybe the original MW. Oh, oh like COD 4? Yeah. That's pretty good. I, but, like, you really cannot be able to... I love, I love the MW2 campaign. The Modern Warfare series by itself is awesome. I, that's why I bought the the newer ones. Mm-hmm. I have I have the first and second of the newer ones. I don't know if I'm going to buy three. Because I feel like, I'm a, like I only want it for the campaign. And to be real with you, mm-hmm. the stealth missions in these games are pissing me off. Like, I hate playing them. Like, I find them just unfun. Yeah. It's not Call of Duty. It's like, like it's fucking stupid. It's like how they ruined Assassin's Creed. Like I used to be big into Assassin's Creed. I, j- I bought, I just, I just bought the new Assassin's Creed, and then. Uh, Tell me how it is, because I heard that it's dog nuts. They're like, let's get back to our roots, and then they added teleporting. I, I tried. I, I made it forty-five minutes into the game, and then I just fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> no, I feel like they've <laughs> always had some kind of like. They found something weird. Whack but like, shit. No, but like, look back at the the. I didn't play the first one, but the second one was like just you in Italy. Like, yeah, you had like you had like Leonardo da Vinci's contraptions. Yeah, two then Brotherhood. Brotherhood was my first. Brotherhood was my first too. I loved Brotherhood. I I played <laughs> Brotherhood again like senior. These guys year are growing school. out, dude. I love yeah. it. I didn't play too much Assassin's Fucking Creed, so I can't. Yeah, I played, a, I played, I played two, and then I got three when it came out. That's because I, I got, got oh I got gosh. Brotherhood when three came out, but then I played three, and then I remember waiting for Black Flag. I got was that my dad wanted to play Black I Flag? That's Black how Flag was fire. My dad really wanted to play Assassin's Creed three, so he got me Brotherhood. I feel like that three was out. yeah, and and, then, he, and you wanted to play three with you. Yeah, and then me and him played three. My dad wasn't big into video games, but he did play. He he likes playing. Um, he liked playing uh, this Disney MMO from back in the day called uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Online. <laughs> That's actually I used fun. to fuck with that game, dude. I had a, yeah, I had no, a he he had the you had a girlfriend I got, I got game. My my dad, um, he grinded well, the fuck out. Of that. Right. He refuses to he refuses to um, to remember, but he was max level, and. He, <laughs> like he like my dad was level fifty in that game or like forty eight or something like that and he had like a war sloop like he didn't have like crazy shit like in like the economic side of the game yeah. but like but I remember him being on like the you know like the tree people islands you had those like monsters that were like trees so long ago. yeah but they were like the I highest so, they were like some of the highest level enemies I didn't make it I didn't but he didn't he's not like eight. yeah <laughs> I know I know you know they released a new version. Yeah, I played the hell out. I actually got to the last mission, and then they deleted my account. And I emailed support, and I told them about it, and I gave them my username and everything, and they refused to help me. So I was so. You, do you know the story? Do you remember the story? Tragic. You have to save all the black pearl crew, 
right? And it's MMO, so it's like it's like hundreds of hours. So oh I I God. found this I found this eighth grade uh, eighth grade right, and I was playing this on and off all throughout high school, and I just got to the final mission last year, and I was like, okay, but it, it, <laughs> but fuck. yeah, it takes a long time to beat this game, yeah. and and I so but like I was playing it off and on, so I like really I probably would have beat it by like freshman year if I was like playing all the time, yeah. but. I got to a pretty high level. I got, I figured out how to game blackjack. Like I figured out how to fuck up the AI and I just, I, uh, I like totally, like I, I, I figured out how to game blackjack and I got like hundreds of thousands of dollars and I bought all the ships and then I, <laughs> and I upgraded them and I figured out how to game. So you, so when you get to end game, you have to, um, to get like the higher up materials, you have to fill up your cargo slot and then, hunter ships will come after you and they drop the good shit and they're higher level so you have to figure out how to beat them and I figured out how to game those too I'm so, so fucking ADHD I feel like if I had to deal with a game that long I'd be like hyper fixated for like a couple days and then I'd be out You'd be like yeah no I, I can't yeah well that's what that I do I play, for, I play for like a week straight and then I wouldn't touch it for like except for fucking Insomniacs did you guys play did you guys play Insomniacs Spider-Man that is such a good fucking game dude no but let me let me finish so so I was at the uh, so this game took me five years to get to the final <laughs> level, right? Oh my five, god! This is five you were years. Invested. No, I was. This is five years of my because I remember playing. I wish I could I, be invested. I like didn't this get about that. Anything. So you have to save all the Black Pearl crew, right? Yeah. And then you have to f- rescue the Black Pearl. The final mission is rescuing the Black Pearl from, uh, from from the uh, the British. Mm-hmm. And you need two people, and I couldn't find a second person for the longest time. Mm-hmm. That was like high enough level. Like I could have gotten one of my friends, but they'd be like level one, and it like wouldn't be fair. Yeah, mm-hmm. they like they just like wouldn't be able to play it. And then my account got deleted. No, not my account. My player. My oh. player. You can't get that back. No. So I contacted support. They were like, "We're really just not gonna do anything about this." And I was like, "Sorry." So there goes wah, five wah. years <laughs> of that game. You know. You know how long I was waiting to do that because I was thinking about that ending. Probably since we were eight years old. <laughs> Dude, this is like a major part of your life. Yeah, I really wanted to beat that game because that was like the first video game I got into. Thank God we sat you down today. This is like therapy for you, I feel. I feel like this has no, been on your on mind. that's on Tuesday at 2 o'clock. <laughs> 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 I feel like this has been on your mind for a while, so now we can we could get it out there. Mm-hmm. Do you feel relieved? I do. The only person I told about that was Joey. <laughs> oh, so this was deep. This, this was yeah, this deep. Is, this is upsetting to me. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is, like, actually <laughs> upsetting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is therapeutic. Because, like, not. if you really want to look at it, like, overall time, like, I was trying to get to this level for, like, probably 10 years, 15 years. We're not a podcast. We are uh, a therapy session. That's why you're on that red couch. We're just a couple dudes with a computer. I think that's what it is. Yeah. 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 Did you guys see that clip of that fucking dude where he's talking about, like, Barnes & Noble checkout ladies and them having, like, really big tits? I don't know what that was about, but, and like a lot of the comments were like fucking, uh, yo, just anybody with a fucking <laughs> computer can just make a podcast. <laughs> and I, uh, that's what we're doing. I mean, that's the truth. It is. It is. I think it's kind of funny. I think there's a lot of funny people out there that need to come through the cracks. It is. I don't know if we're one of them. I think Pat's really funny. I think Patty's got to stay in the cracks. <laughs> someone, <laughs> keep that. For my own good. <laughs> someone keep, someone yeah. keep that guy. Down. It might not have more for me. But we'll get there. No, yeah. dude, you you are the you are the cornerstone of everything that we do here. You embody yeah. this fucking podcast. Mm-hmm. You know, Foreman. Get yelled at by a cocaine man this week. Really? <laughs> For what? <laughs> what? I'm just getting the right now. Who does what coke at your fucking job? No, no, no. Fuck it. We're on. We're in a nice area. It has a gate code to get in there. So like, I'm not expecting any crazy. Well, you, where do you work? Um, at the same company. We uh, we but not we, not the company. What town? Um, <laughs> Please. Everywhere around here. Oh, it's just right yeah. like you can go to right places. Like this uh, isn't like a normal spot for me. Okay. So I'm assuming it's normal shit. And we get there and there's no garage and no car. So I'm like, cool. And no one's home. I got like that less stress on yourself. Mm. And um, with our mower, there's been a ton of leaves because like, of fall. And um, our bag is a little broken. So when you go over with the mower, none of the leaves coming out. And it just leaves little fucking sprinkles all over the fucking lawn. Ugh. And, um, and, uh, so I blew the leaves off of my bed. <laughs> and this guy comes out of nowhere from down the street, throws his trash can, and then just starts looking around my second man and my third man. He's like, fuck you, fuck you. So he cuts off the machine and we're like, what's going on? He's like, 
So you guys are fucking retarded. Why are you blowing the fucking leaves off? So I try explaining it to the guy. And he, like, gets my face, starts screaming. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Throw all the leaves back onto his lawn. And then, um, shit was fucked. Well, that's the thing. I feel like only rich people can afford, like, good coke. Like, there's a reason that crack addicts are crack addicts and that all, like, the scenes you see in movies of people doing coke are, like, rich people at, like, a fucking meeting. Yeah, but it is, it is just the same shit. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. Just how you, it's how you ingest it. Yeah. Well, but but I mean, we're talking about purity as well. It was, I was trying to explain that. That's, that's what I mean, but, like, it's, like, the same kind of I mean, quality. people buying, like, actual, like, actual good quality coke I mean, I think are, like, only rich people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pr- Who the fuck? You ever had, had coke? No. no. Have you tried it? No. Have you had coke? No. I feel like I'd be way too addicted to cocaine. I feel like we had this conversation last time. Me and you would love cocaine way too much. You snorted Adderall? It's kind of the same shit, right? Uh, that, see, but like Nickus, really. Nickus did do that. And he said it was the most wild experience he'd ever had. You're snorting Adderall. Mad anxiety. Yeah. I'm sure if you're not supposed to be on it. I mean, you have like a it. lot of it. Like, I know this kid that took so much and he started tweak out. I took him to the casino and he started tweaking out. <laughs> the yeah. casino's fun, though. Like The casino was fun, except I lost so much money. How much Except did you bring? How much did you go in with? Um, like a hundred dollars, hundred twenty dollars. And you came out with nothing. Did uh, you come out in debt? I came out. I came out. I I came out. I came out with twenty only because um only because this kid I was with he he came up to me. Oh okay. So I'm gonna tell you the first story mm-hmm. about when I was there, and then the second story. Okay. Please. Um, so this was the first time I went, and I had my girlfriend with me, and she mm-hmm. was really drunk. And we wandered into the casino. I was the only sober one. They were sharing a bottle in my car. Mm-hmm. And um, it's the best time to go to a casino, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never been that drunk. I've only been sober because I'm the driver. Well, yeah. We eventually, we'll treat you. Yeah, I would really enjoy to go to the casino intoxicated. I mean, I don't want to lose any money, but like, dude, your I've judgment's so gonna money. be out the window. Anyway, what do you mean so you don't want to lose any so money? It's I, gone. I walked in and we went to the. I was like, fuck, I didn't bring any cash, so I went over to the ATM. It's a twenty dollar card charge, right? the fuck they give it back to you but i didn't know that at the time mm-hmm. so i was like okay this just adds to my fucking bill mm-hmm. and i took out 200 dollars, and i was because i just got um what did i get i got paid for something i, I think i oh I, the copper dude no 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 that, that was, was a that, time. that was the, that was a different time but it was something like that i, I sold something you, mean, you you get so many of these like weird like weird odds and ends money yeah, making things. I know it's strange. And thank God you blow it all at the casino. <laughs> thank God I no I did blow all the copper money at the casino. I'm sure. No, I blew all the I blew. Okay, so I so I I wasted uh uh she wasted her half of the money because I I decided that we were gonna split it. So I gave her hundred bucks. I so, wouldn't. But <laughs> yeah, but we played it like slots and shit. And uh, and then it was and then it was my money and. We, um, we, you know, we lost a bunch at the roulette table. We lost like, we lost like $60 to the roulette table. I was like, I still have $20 of my dignity. I'm going to walk out of this place. <laughs> That's probably where yeah. I'd be at, dude. So Roulette's I was like, kind of like and it. then I was with, I was with, uh, I was with Joe and Bill. And I was like, I was like, dude, f- fuck this. I'm going to just put it in the slot. I might as well leave with just my dignity, you know? And so I put 20 in the slot and she sits down next to me and, and, uh, we were um, and she like tapped me on the shoulder she's like hey can I get tw- can I get $20 and I was like yeah okay and I gave her $20 right and I won like $80 in the slot so I got $100 out of the slot because I put 20 in and I was fucking hype I was, we were like jumping up and down and shit and then she tapped me on the shoulder she goes you know remember she was fucking wasted and she goes huh I think I won I look over she won $600 oh my god I was like <laughs> <laughs> so, so I took that and I get I, I took her shopping and I bought her um, I spent like 150 on her and then I blew the rest on parts for the bus the bus is awesome though the bus but, is uh, cool so the second story was I went there with $100 right and mm-hmm. and um, this kid I was with he won $300 he I forget how much he put in but he had he walked out of that slot with $320 in his hand right mm-hmm. the voucher and we were, and I, t- I, I said to him, I said, no more gambling. You can't gamble anymore because you're going to lose that money. Oh he my goes, God. okay, bro, I won't gamble it. And so he walks away with two like of the I other kids. This. And I was, I, was with, I was with Joe and Bill, I think. And we sit down in the slot, right? And Joe and I waste our money. And then he comes over and he goes, Kellen, can I get 20 bucks? Because I was the only one with cash left. And I go, Colson, I told you no more gambling. He goes, I know, <laughs> but I lost it. And I go, no, I know, Colson. You, but, like, let's, let's not, let's not, 
let's not gamble the rest I'll of I'll make money it back. Away. I and, promise. And, but like I didn't so but then he like had to explain to me that he took that voucher, put it in a different slot machine and lost it all. Why would you do that? I don't know, but his negative was like three hundred dollars. So Fucking so dude. not only that, but then it came, so we brought a t- all of us together brought five hundred dollars. We lost it all, okay. And then we went back, and I got a two hundred dollar parking ticket. And, <laughs> and, and leaving Definitely and leaving the it. casino, we lost the pack of cigarettes. So that's like seven hundred fifteen dollars right <laughs> in, in one night. Dude, I feel like the fifteen hurts the most for college kids. Stuff. That sucks. That oh my sucks. God, we lost our cigarettes. <laughs> No, we were pissed. So we, so we were. I would. Everyone was, everyone was drunk again, right? And somebody had them, and then somebody grabbed them, and we think that they stole them off of somebody else because we nobody had them. They, it just they, the pack disappeared, and it was it was like a pack of like Camel Crushers that you could only get in RI, and um, because they don't sell that shit here. Limited edition Siggies, dude. It's not even awesome. limited edition. It's just they don't sell flavored shit here anymore. They don't of course sell not. Or not. Dude, the flavored mm-hmm. Swishers are like they're cool, but where'd I mean, you get them from? Uh, I New ordered Hampshire? them from a, s- a guy who got them from yeah, New Hampshire. Yeah, but where'd he get them? Probably New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire sells good shit. I went there once for for a run. I went and I got $300 worth of... They also don't really card for smoking shit. In New Hampshire? Yeah, not really. I'll have to try that out. I went... So I was like 17, so this must have been junior year, and I was up there visiting family, and my uncle likes to smoke those flavored Swishers, and he was like, run down to the store. Like thinking that it's like 19 fucking 85 or some shit yeah i'm like all right whatever did he give you a note no <laughs> that <laughs> would be funny if he was like my uncle wanted these and just just like slipped it over to her but uh i walk in there and i'm like nervous as shit i, I don't know what was going on but i had i've never done that like i don't i, didn't, I don't have a fake now and i've never like tried I to still buy get shit nervous buying scratchers <laughs> yeah, that'd be that too. Uh, they asked me for my ID. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I, <laughs> drugs. yeah, I get it. <laughs> I get in there and I'm like, yeah, can I have the the grape swishers? And she's like, oh, we're actually out of those. And I was like, fuck. And I like start pacing back and forth. I was like, she's like, well, do you want the blueberry ones? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. I'll take it. And she just like slid up. I think she just felt bad. She was like, this fucking kid, dude. But I, uh. uh yeah, it's extremely easy in New Hampshire. It might have been Vermont, but I, bought I can't a, I bought a pack of smokes this Friday, Thursday, at, at this place by my house. Uh, it's this kid uh, I went to school with, I guess. And uh, and and he, he said, you know, hey, what's up? I was like, what's up, man? And I, and I didn't think he was going to give them to me because mm-hmm. I don't know him that well. And he, uh, I just, like, kind of know him from, like, the hallway, you know? And, yeah. and I was like, let me get 50 on the pump. We'll get this two Red Bulls and this fucking hot dog. Let me get a pack of those American Spirit Yellows. <laughs> and he was like, and he looked at me, he goes, he goes, hey man, you aren't even old enough. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, he was like, but shit, man, that's between you and God. <laughs> <laughs> and I, was like, I was like, all right. What fine. a fucking G, dude. Yeah. That's between you and God. How old was this guy? Uh, my age. I think we're in the same grade. I don't know if I'd ever utter that statement. I that's between you and God. My legs are so white. My legs are so white, dude. Everyone gets so, like, <laughs> like <laughs> the second is. summer leaves, everyone just becomes a ghost. No, I still dude. keep my tan, but this arm is way tanner than this arm on account of I drive with this out the window all the time. I've got a nasty trucker tan. Pat, are you, like, majority Irish? I'm, like, majority Italian. Oh. So you're, you're not. <laughs> you just told me it's your 5%. All right, let me pull up a the A 5 percenter. Let me pull out the ancestry. Oh, God, here we go. Right like what part? I got that shit. Cause I'm 25 percent Italian, and it's mostly Sicilian. So I'm wondering. You're if 21 you're percent Sweden and Denmark. I got mad. Oh my God, you should be. I'm Hispanic fun. too. I'm third. Hispanic. I'm Hispanic. No, you're Hola, not. Como yeah. estás? Dude, your last name is fucking Jones. Dude, you're not Hispanic. I'm Wales. I'm Wales. Uh, 16 percent Wales. 16 percent Scotland. Este Scotland. Lagusa, 13 percent Ireland. 11 percent Eastern Europe and Russia. I'm more I'm more Irish than you, and in Massachusetts, that's a flex. <laughs> Boston. Oh, Dude, well, what? I guess Italian. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, what, what town? Uh, oh. uh, England, 7% England and Northwestern Europe. 6% Norway. Dude, I'm just mad uh, Viking. 5% Southern Italy. And then... Sexy Viking. I got that. I got that mm. uh, oh, no, 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 that's not the Hispanic. 2% uh, uh, Baltic. I got some and Baltic then the in Balkans, there. the Balkans are all, all in. S- no, no, no. Basque is Spain. I'm Basque. Hispanic. So. I wish I had access. Yeah, to this my grandma is three percent Moroccan. 
Dude, don't you have that crazy? <laughs> don't you have that crazy story about like the Russian side of your family? Oh yeah, did I, did I ever tell you about this? Yeah. So this I'm, is awesome. I'm, I'm pretty much thirds Scottish, Irish, and Russian. Yeah. But we thought we were Polish. So my great great grandfather came over here from Russia. Mm-hmm. Uh, bef- oh, you told me this. Before the Great Depression, but after World War One, because mm-hmm. they were Soviet by then, and Belarus wasn't a country that was like split between Poland and Russia at the time, mm-hmm. and um, we were from like a border town on what would now be the Belarusian border, right? So he, but was Russia then. Mm-hmm. So he left and he came to the States, right? And he told my great-grandmother, so he married this woman who already had like seven kids. Yeah. And and then um, she was born. So she was like the, she was like everybody's half. So she was like, sep- so basically like that part of the family, the wife and the other kids were like, like separate. Like, you yeah. know, her father and her were close, but she wasn't close with anybody else. Mm-hmm. And he made her promise never to look into his history yeah. where he came from who was because he uh, he had like brothers right mm-hmm. who his brothers were all this shit and um it turns out that we're not polish we're russian and that's why everybody in the neighborhood hated him because he pretended to be polish so the russians didn't like him because he pretended to be polish mm-hmm. from newton and the poles didn't like him because he wasn't because po- he was russian right? <laughs> dude was so, so he was like pretending lie, and everybody was just like fuck you dude like what are you like what are you doing here he like why don't you win, move yeah. go home so some things kind of came out the only thing that we knew about him was that he worked on the trans-siberian railway mm-hmm. right and we only knew that because in the late 30s mid mid to late 30s he found a chinese man in boston <laughs> and they recognized each other it turns out they worked on it together and so which must have meant because i'm pretty sure that the chinese only worked on that railroad as a punishment mm-hmm. so that must have meant that he was in some sort of trouble as well if he was working in the same oh shit if was, if i he, forgot that detail yeah, if, he, if he was if he was working in the same detail right so he was in trouble with the russian government mm-hmm. in some capacity he was he was sentenced and it wasn't even like jail it was like you have to go work in siberia so this is like your great grandfather did great, i miss that great great grandfather great, great. so oh, shit so my great grandmother died years ago and and then we were like okay well now we can look into but before she died we we had her do an ancestry test and uh so we found a distant cousin my mom's like second or third cousin Mm. and keep in mind growing up my mom would go to this little polish town that apparently we were from right Mm -hmm. and uh uh i don't know if i can admit to i don't know if 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 there's a statute of limitations on this but my great-grandmother used to uh run uh prescription drugs Across the I board. don't think you have to worry about yeah. that. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about that. But she used to bring like antibiotics and uh, and like and like medications and shit to this like little little border town in Poland. So I feel like that's different. Yeah. No, no, I, I know, different. but I, I mean, like, I don't want that on her uh, name, you know. And so, it, it's but a good thing. yeah, it's a, but she bring like penicillin and shit like that, like all these like like a like a bun- and she got really. My mom told me that she got really good at uh, passing bills to Russian border guards because this is. Because my mom would go with her. This is old. Uh, this is like Soviet Union. Mm-hmm. You know, my mom was little, so uh, this was like before the collapse. So these were like dudes with AKs, and she'd like slide them like a five dollar American bill, and they'd be like, "I can feed my family for two weeks." You know, oh, <laughs> you, know? <shit. laughs> you know. I didn't realize um, how bad the economic state so th- was. So then she'd point. go with like a backpack full of pills and uh, give them to these people that needed them. So it's pretty noble. Anyway, we're not Polish. We're Russian, and. Uh, we we found out that we have some family and it turns out that they're uh, they got really uh i don't know if they're like nationalist about it but they're high up in the russian military like majors and shit yeah not like high up but like they're not just like they're not dudes that signed up they're like officers no we, <laughs> a- we <laughs> they might be we we asked them because th- we, we only found them just after they went to war with ukraine mm-hmm. And uh, we asked one of them about Ukraine, and they stopped talking to us for three weeks. Oh my God! So he's got he feels some type of way about it. And uh, yeah, so he's he's definitely you he's know he's definitely sickle and hammer kind of thing. To an old king of Sweden. Yeah, yeah. My um, I forget who it's a girl. Um, she was a maid for the king and queen of Sweden, and the queen of Sweden went on. Uh, I think you told me about this. Uh, yeah, she went. She went off on vacation. Or not vacation, she went to Europe or something. She yeah. Did. And then uh, they hung out a little bit. Got a little hung close. out. And then she got pregnant and then she got sent to America. And then you were born. Yeah. My great grandfather was a. He was a Golden Gloves boxer who used to beat his kids. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I have like a cool. You guys are kicking my ass with it. My great grandfather fought World War II in the Pacific. 
Okay, so just fuck me, dude. Yeah, so fuck you, dude. Yeah, fuck you. You got shitty heritage. Yeah, dude, your heritage sucks. See, mine's cool. Mine escaped the Russian government and fought the Japanese. I feel like a lot of my family... That's just my mom's side. So, (laughs) you're a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like, like, even on my dad's side, it was like fucking... My grandfather was, like, in the army, like, during the Korean War, but he was boxing in, like, fucking... Obviously, Korea or some yeah. shit. I'm kind of. And he's fucking. He got hit so hard that his kidney like dislodged. Oh. And then they had to hang it from his rib cage, so he got like dishonorably discharged. But he like never. F- what? Dishonorably. Honorably. Sorry. Oh. But he like, like never. What the fuck? I don't think he ever fought for a second in the Korean War. That's fucked up. <laughs> Not at all. My dad's side is from. My dad's from New Jersey mm-hmm. too, and um, he uh my his 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 grandmother. I think, or his great grandmother, I forget, was uh, a baby abandoned at a train station in the early 1900s. So we wow. don't really know anything about like our families. It's kind of funny. Um, didn't you Didn't you win most mysterious in high school? I did. Now <laughs> it's starting. Now it's starting to become more now, like yeah. prevalent. You want You want to hear something else mysterious? My My dad's cousin. They were really close growing up, and he disappeared when my dad was like 15. What do you mean disappeared? Uh, he disappeared. Like they couldn't find him. They put out a missing persons report and everything. And uh, he and apparently he didn't even disappear. He left. He went and lived in. He he moved to Japan and didn't tell anybody. And what the con- fuck? Caught contact with everybody, and he's got like a family and everything over there. He's been living there for like two, three decades. That's like Holy man's. Shit. That's like man's biggest dream, though. It's just like cut off the life that you're living and like, go do. Like he that was, like you he shouldn't like, do that. But he was like, like twenty, dude. Like it wasn't like he like had beef with his family. Like he was like close to his family. Yeah, I know. He just left. Anyway, my my dad's family on that side. Uh, what was it? They were farmers. Uh, you know where Piscataway is? Uh, it's, it was like, I guess this neighborhood was like, like their house was the only house there. Mm-hmm. And um, it was like, I guess like my grandmother grew up watching all these houses getting built around hers. And then like the farm disappeared and they turned into contractors. So. My, uh, on my, my dad's, dad's side, I forget who, um, but he used to um, run like uh, liquor. That also happened in my family. Dude, what? I'm not kidding. One of like the famous people. There's an alcohol brand named after it. It's not Jim Beam, but it's like that type of alcohol. Jameson? No. No. My great grandmother lived in Newton. She grew up in Newton. And her mother was uh, a grisly Eastern European woman. And uh, and she made moonshine in her basement. Strong like. I was yeah, I was in that basement and she would she would tell me story. She had all these fucking weird stories because it was like kind of like a farmhouse back then, like there like it wasn't so much of a city as it was now. And she she gave me these stories about uh, growing up on a it, it's not like a real farm. Yeah. Like I, I can't call it a farm, yeah. you know, but she had like a garden and then like mm-hmm. some animals. Yeah. Like chickens or something. And um yeah, her mom would be moonshine and bribe the cops with moonshine. So she she told me that how she she told me how to make moonshine. Really? Yeah, and she told me that she she'd take the spoon and light it, and the color of the flame was an indicator of when it's ready. What the fuck? Yeah, she ran me through the whole process. I was like ten years old. I was like, why am I just I'm a, I'm why am I just learning these things about you now? I don't know. Oh you my know? god! I feel like I'm pretty open serious. about that. You just don't Charles ask. Lindbergh? Husband, yeah. He's the first man to fly across the, the yeah. Pacific Ocean yeah. or something like that. I don't know where he's from. Yeah? Really? Yeah, he's married and left. Like, so. hmm. That's, that's, that's still, still right. counts. Yeah. Did he have kids with... Did he, did he fuck whoever's uh, in your family? His uh, his kids were famously kidnapped. Oh. Okay. Or <laughs> what whatever. the fuck? Or famously disappeared, I think. Oh. Let's look that up. Jamie, look that up. Where's Jamie? Can we pull that shit up? Yo, pull Jamie. That. Jamie, pull that. Will. Where's Will? Where's Will? Will, Will, Will pull, pull that, that shit up. I think it was a. I think he just. They just had a baby that was kidnapped. Um, did Charles? You know, I was kidnapped once. Once. Now I'm just making that up. Yeah. You can't be that cool. I don't think I'm that cool. I think your story so far are pretty damn cool. Yeah, the son of famed well, aviator Charles Lindbergh was kidnapped in 1932. Oh. So funny. I was like, how do I not know these things about you? You never ask. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> you don't ask. <laughs> so I don't tell. Okay. <laughs> Fucking, his cousin was kidnapped, bro. Yeah, you're like fifth cousin thr- thrice removed. Damn, bro. Yeah. They, Sorry, bro. They ain't trying to see your family win. Oh, you know? 
God damn. Swedish king. Sexy fight. My direct family was made to build a railroad. So. <laughs> you just like, co-create and make the railroad. Of course. <laughs> what else are you going to do? It's crawling around. It was like that Family Guy skit. I would like have railroad. Babies. You know, what? Like when Stewie gets taken out and then like the, the, the mom get, like the, gives birth and the baby starts sewing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chinese sweatshops. Can you edit that? Can you edit a clip into that so I don't look racist? You won't look racist. <laughs> they, they, they know. They know. Do you care if you look racist? It's not racist if, it, if you didn't make it. Because Benny Johnson is really racist. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't believe him. Don't believe him. Fucking dirty racist. No, I know what you're saying. Dude, do you remember that whole thing where like Wayfair was like human trafficking? Yes. Was that real? No, that was a bit. That was a bit. <laughs> that was a bit. Because because they'd have like because IKEA has names for things and that's just something they adopted from IKEA. Because like IKEA has like like they they like name things with like old Swedish names. But people were actually going missing. Were they just like no, tying dude, it? No, like, they weren't actually going missing. Loosely, they just, like they took no, missing persons sure. cases and just said that they named something after this kid. And then they're shipping kids in this wardrobe. It's not it's not real. It's dude. a pretty. It was pretty. Because they don't even sell the wardrobes together. Well, you have to the build them anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't make any sense. Well, the Wayfair delivery drivers got arrested for documenting. Oh, yes, so conspiracy. I could work for I could I could work for Where's McDonald's. Will? Will pull it up. I could work for McDonald's and get arrested for some horrific crime, but it's not McDonald's doing it. Yeah, but it's just funny that that all I happened mean, at the same time. What do you want me to time. say? What crimes do you think I'd commit? Vehicular manslaughter. Vehicular manslaughter. Like on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then just so then like murder. So then just murder. No. No, because because manslaughter implies it's an accident. Really? It's yeah. definitely not an accident. No. Involuntary uh, manslaughter, that's an accident. That's like not on purpose. Vehicular manslaughter is vehi- it's like you're killing maybe you're murdering someone. No, I don't think so. No, because people who like shoot intruders get convicted for manslaughter. Well Well that's yeah. that's different because you didn't mean to kill them, you were just if you yourself. accidentally like hit, you didn't go out of your but like if you, if accidentally, you accidentally hit someone hit with a car and kill someone with a car, it's involuntary manslaughter. I thought it's still vehicular. Yeah, that would still be Manslaughter is like I think I think involuntary. If, man- if if it's if you're drunk, it'll be vehicular uh, manslaughter, or whatever. I don't know what the fuck. But uh, if if you're like sober and then like they hit you or whatever, some shit, and it wasn't like your fault, you're like still gonna be in charge with involuntary manslaughter. There's a lot of dumbass people that drive in Massachusetts. I think Patty Jones knows how the courts work. Dude, I think <laughs> I definitely know how the courts work. <laughs> But I, dude, so here's a fucking funny story about driving. So me and Nickus went to. One time I hit a dude. <laughs> Kept so going. We're, we're <laughs> <laughs> I didn't stop. I didn't look back. It was a, it was a kid. One time I, I hit back. a deer and kept going. I was in my brother. I fucked up my brother's truck. Is this so real? Is yeah, this, this is real. I was coming back from. I was coming back from the Berkshires, and it was like it was like like early November. It was actually like this time, and I had his truck because mine was not. Because my Jeep just got totaled, and I hit a deer going like 85 and crushed it, and uh, and uh, I just I didn't even stop because I was having a rough night, so I didn't even I didn't even slow down, look back, nothing. I just got back. It was like 10 o'clock when I got back. I, I brought him out. I was like, hey bro, I'm sorry. I was like picking out fur. <laughs> you know? I was like, I'll get this fixed. I promise. Oh my god. He was so, like, don't worry about it. So me and Jacob were driving back from uh, from upstate New York, <clears throat> and it's like late at night, and we see like five different state troopers they're just like chilling on the side of the road and we like kind of slow down because i guess it got like uh it merged into like one lane to like make space for their fucking crime scene reenactment or something but this car is like flipped over and yeah. like fucking like demolished like this this car is not a car anymore it's simply just scrap metal yeah and you can kind of see because there's like a ditch that i don't know if it like hit the rail, went on the rail, and then fell like that. But it was ridiculous. Like, I've never seen anybody crash like that. Yeah. And that there was, like, there's no way that that person is still alive. There's no way. Why else would there be, like, five or six state troopers there? I feel like state troopers are, they can be, they can be pretty, um, they can be vultures. I got out of a single run state trooper one time. I was I, on 112. I was 112. I was t- really? Oh I, my god, that was that. Please tell. So here's here's oh, we got I got to preface this story. This. this is so funny. So Pat and I in high school were in this uh nursing course. Nursing yes, he is. Me too. Represent, brother, represent. 
But uh, we Let's had a dude. That Fuck you. Handy. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. Of course it did. Handy. Funny joke. But um, sorry, we dude. had these we had these clinicals that we had to go to that were like, oh, so it was late. <laughs> they were yeah, so they they were forty minutes away, and Pat was always at least twenty but minutes late. This was my last one, and I was actually on time. You're with a girl who definitely would keep you on yes, time. Yes, and I was on time. We were actually gonna be early, but did I get? So what? I think I got pulled over like by the same guy a week before. Yeah, a week after me, you were after. Was me. it after? Yeah. Okay. No, my bad. I think I was before. before. And you were going one twelve. Well, he okay, off? he said I was going 112. I feel like I was going like 95. See, th- but that's what I felt like. <laughs> so, remember when I bought all those solar panels from Woodsocket? Yes. I was. I had my girl in the car, and I was. I was trying to get home before the rain because yeah. if you don't know how solar panels work, it's copper and um, it's copper on the inside covered by glass, and the mm-hmm. glass is what doesn't let the copper rust, right? And mm-hmm. the copper rust, then it's broken. And I spent like 200 hours on these. So I was trying to beat the rain because they weren't covered, and uh, I had them back my truck, and I was flying down 495 mm-hmm. coming home. And I knew I was going like 85, 90, you know, so I got pulled over. This cop pulls me over and he already had somebody pulled over. He, he, he let the guy go to pull me over. <laughs> right. I mean, it was like that. <laughs> like he, like he saw me and he, he pulled me over. He goes, you know, why I pulled you over. I was like, I was going a little fast. And he goes, can you tell me why? And I pointed at the radio and I said, cause Freebird was playing. <laughs> that is and, such a good excuse. He looked at me, he goes, uh, okay. I mean, yeah. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, can I get your license and registration? So I gave, I gave it to him and I was in the car. I was like, so fucking fast I'm gonna get a fat <laughs> ticket he goes back he goes you know what I clock you at and I go like 85 he goes you were going 85 I was like how fast was I going officer and he goes I clocked you going 115 <laughs> he was like I should, he was like I should be taking you to jail but what am I gonna do with her I was like uh I don't know he's like how old are you I was like 19 and he was like yeah go home slow down <laughs> I'm letting you off with a warning that's what he said warning right that's important lucky, lucky, he said lucky. no no so I got home right this was in February in May, guess what I got in the mail? Mm-hmm. I got a notice that I didn't pay my ticket. How much was the amount? The amount got up to three hundred fifty dollars because it was past due and I didn't mm. pay it. That's and how they so get I you. called the Middle Pearl State Police Department and I said, "Hey, I'd really like to get this wiped off my record." And she goes, "No, you have to pay that." And I go, "No, but he told me I was getting off with a warning." And she said, "Yeah, for the, for the, for the." Um, uh, Criminal speeding? No, not criminal speeding. It was like a lane change violation. He let oh. you off for that, but not the speeding. And I was like, S- w- but he told me I wouldn't be getting a ticket. She goes, well, that's something I'd say with him. And I was, I'm just, I was too busy to deal with that. So I just, I said, fuck this, and I paid the ticket. Yeah, fuck that. Um, Only thing is the whole paycheck. Yeah, that so, probably hurt. You know, it doesn't feel good. So we were on our way up to clinicals, and um, fucking, it was like one of the last exits right before. And you got pulled over right there. Dude, we both before. got pulled over, and I had Rivaldo in the car, who's a Jamaican dude, and you had Adamari, who's – what's her – what's her – I don't I don't want to say because I don't want to be wrong. It's probably some kind of, like, South she, American. Um, it's like it's like South American, like, right? Um, oh, oh, I know what it is. Uh, same one as Juan. Guatemalan? El Salvadorian. I, yes. I'm wrong. She's going to be pissed when she hears this, and it's really wrong. But anyway, so I speculate that it's a racist cop. But anyways, continue, Pat. So, um, and then I'm kind of freaking out. I'm like, fuck, I'm getting pulled over. But we're in our scrubs. So I'm going to play that. I thought that was going to help us out. The best I could. So he comes knocking on the door. And (laughs) my dad told me, if you ever get pulled over, just play stupid I'm really good at that mm. so I played really fucking dumb with this guy I right? should have taken your advice I, was I don't like, think you play sometimes <laughs> so he looked at me and he was like hey do you have any idea why I'm pulling you over and I was like oh no my tail light out he was like, <laughs> he was like no no I go when I change lanes and I not like put a blanker on he was like no no I was like I couldn't tell you what's going on. No, <laughs> no, it's not that. No. It's probably that you're and going criminal speed. <laughs> and he was like, well, it's not that. No. Well, um, you know, I saw you going around uh, 112. He only saw. He said he only saw me going. Yeah. He didn't have. He didn't catch me on the radar. Gun. Yeah, he yeah, caught so me on the radar gun going over 100 miles an hour. And um, I was like, ooh, I'm sorry. I'm just running late to work. Um, I work up at a nursing um, home up there, and I'm a little late, and my patients need me. Just lied. Is that what you said, actually? Uh, I, it was something along the lines of, I need to get there. 
My patience and leave me. Yeah. <laughs> my patience, patience leave me. Um, but I was freaking out. And then I, I think I made some jokes to him. And then uh, he came back and he just gave me a warning. And um, I tried arguing with him when he said I was going 115. I was like, no, I was going, I was going, like, I'd say I didn't like, thing. fuck. But they don't, <laughs> believe, they don't <laughs> believe it at all. Was he state? Yeah. Yeah, so they don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, well, Pat- he said, he said he, he, so, like, he didn't catch me on the gun. So I was like, oh, dude, I can, this guy, it's dark. He has no clue what's going on. I'm like, I was going like 55. Yeah. Well, so Pat, Pat, like, Pat lucked out with me. I had two things on you my mind. You lucked out way more. No, 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 no. Not when you, like, hear what I said to the cop, because I was really fucking stupid. So he pulls me over, and he's like, he's like, do you know why I pulled you over? And I was like, I was probably going a little fast. And he was like, yeah, how fast were you going? And I, I like, you know that fucking lawyer on TikTok where he's like, you get pulled over, say this. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, so I was like, yeah, dude, I'm going to look like a boss. I was like would you clock me at? And immediately his face changed and he was like, I'm not playing games with you, son. And I like, sh- all, all the color left my face. Did I they- shit my pants. I was like, <laughs> Look, I'm about to big dick this kid. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, that's exactly what happened. There's no license. So, I, had to- I think he clocked me at like 78. Oh, but- that's not that bad. But he tried to tell me I was going 85. What, on yeah, the highway? He was overestimating it. But this is a fifty, the fifty-five highway, not uh, the sixty-five. Where? Uh, what is it? It's fucking off Route One Seventeen. I don't know the one that's fifty-five mm-hmm. going mm-hmm. up the Cape. Oh, 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 right here. Yeah. The suicide that's alley. It. Suicide alley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's so, bad. That's where you got. Oh, me. oh yeah. I I uh, I passed this cop on uh, Route Six. You passed a cop? Yeah. So he was he was, he was a speed trap, right? <laughs> so and, now I don't feel bad. And he was sitting he was sitting there, right? And I. Well, he was sitting on the side of Route 6 by uh, the Burger King exit, mm-hmm. and I flew past him 185 on Route 6, and, uh, and and then I saw immediately lights turn on, and he started, and I think I saw, like, dirt spew up from his, like, little spot, you know, and it was starting oh to get kind of Oh, my God, he was ready, dude. Yeah, he was pissed, and I was like, fuck, you know, and there's a turn there. There's a bend at that part of the road, so I, I'm in my pickup, and I hit the gas, and then I pull into the right lane, mm-hmm. like, real fast after the bend, and I slow it way down. And he flies past me. He, he goes like, like he was looking for something. He like he probably thought I was still going. He was like, he was like, fuck, you know. And he started speeding up. Oh, so he probably had no idea. He was just like, I'm gonna find somebody. He was like, he was like, I'm gonna find this fucking truck. But he, but he didn't think that I was the truck that passed him. Have you guys had a bunch of instances where like that, where they pull out and they throw on their lights, and immediately you think it's you, and like you think it's over, and um, then they go. And yeah, then, yeah. Well, you were in the car with me when that happened the other. We just, we just switched. We just switched. We pulled off, and then I just started driving. Yeah. That's true. That's true. That did happen. One time, one time, my so, uh, w- the last few weeks of my Jeep were rough. Oh my God! Hold on. You have to tell this story about Lou Seabury and the cops. Fourth of July. Lou Seabury. You and have the cops. to tell them. They fucking the fireworks in the cop car. Oh. That is yeah. the most ridiculous story. So there's this kid. I don't know. You wouldn't. Don't say any names. So, just so this kid, um, this kid walked up to my boy. Right, mm-hmm. we were standing there, and he walked up to us. He goes, "Hey, you guys want to see something?" So the Fourth of July at the country club was nuts. Right, mm-hmm. this wasn't last. This wasn't this last year. It was the year before, and it was fucking. How crazy. many of there were? Because there, there was, was just a lot about four hundred of us. Mm-hmm. Holy and shit! Walk, dude. So if if you don't know the place, it's like a compound, right? Like there's like people, like like people live there. There's houses on the street and on the beach. And there's like a bunch of beaches like along the way, and there's roads that go to the beach. It's like, like a gigantic H O A. It's yeah, it's, fucking it's ginormous. massive. I think it's something like I think it's something like a hundred, hundred fifty acres, right? It's huge. Yeah. And and they've got three golf courses. So, um, one of the uh, what's it? So we were on the beach, right? And I was with a few kids, but I ended up with just I ended up with just this kid, and we were um. Uh, we were standing on the road and we started walking up this road because they kicked us off the beach, and they were following us at the beach. So, we're so they were walking chill at first. They were they like, were, "All right, just get off the beach." They were chill at first because they they just wanted us to like go away. You know, they were tired yeah. of getting calls about us, and we ended up uh, we ended up on this road walking up. There's like a marketplace at the top of the hill, yeah. so we walk up to the marketplace and then we stop, and we we block up the like cars are trying to go down this road because it's like still early at night. It's like ten o'clock. 
on the 4th of July. 400 kids blocking And we're blocking road. this road, and these cars full of old people are, like, slamming on their horns. You know, they're trying to get through, and kids are walking by slamming on the hoods. Like, it's, like, basically a riot, you know? And we get up to this marketplace, and then we stop, and we stay there. And this kid has a massive speaker, and we're just dancing in the street <laughs> you know and we're like we're blasting music i've got a video of it somewhere i'll show you it's sometime. fucking pandemonium and, yeah, it's, when you it's actually like see a it video was at, of what's like going the cops on. were unable to control the situation right and they had like a they had cop cars coming on either side and it's a small road so like everybody started running into this parking lot that was like next to it it's like dirt lot and uh the cops were like hey you guys can't fuck you know they were over the pa system on their cars and shit and i'm standing there with this kid watching everything go down from like a little bit of a distance you know but like we're still in it and he pulls out his backpack like a foot, you know, like the football. This is how it was described to me. I, uh, it was like a football. You put the football on it to kick it. To yeah, kick yeah, it. yeah. So he put that down, and then he put something on it, <laughs> and he lights it. Right? It's a firework, and it launches at the cop car. <laughs> yeah, dude. This was so fun. He launches it at the cop car, right? And it's like one of those like timed ones. So it hits the side of the cop car and it, like dents in, right? And the cop like looks at us. And me and my boy start running. <laughs> but this kid stays there. He stays there and he watches us go down and it starts like spinning, you know, it's like and then it blows up <laughs> on the side of this cop car. And I turned around for a second. The cop car, it had like white doors. They were black. And it was dented to shit. Apparently they had to get a new one. <laughs> didn't they didn't they push one into the fucking ocean? Oh yeah, and then on the way up the road, so there's like a pond and then the ocean, right? And the the pond is only like maybe two feet from the road. Yeah. And these kids, like forty of them, picked up a cop car and put it in the pond. So two <laughs> yeah, cops, dude, they pushed a cop car into, into the, the fucking ocean. Yeah, so was not the, the ocean. Or a pond, pond. pond. Where was the cop? In the car. Oh, Wait, he was in it? I think so, yeah. There's no way. From what I remember, he was in the car. He was like, stop, stop. stop. <laughs> <laughs> please, please stop pushing well, the it car. Wasn't like, it was, I'm like, getting these, scared. These were all rich kids, so like, no matter what they did, they, like nobody got in trouble that night. Uh, you know? That's fucking wild. Yeah. Someone's got to look into it. It was so funny. Uh, oh, so I was on the side of the road, right? So my Jeep was having problems with its brakes. Mm -hmm. Like rust kept getting from the calipers into the pads, and then it just it would lock up. Mm -hmm. So I was on 28 up here at the corner by the liquor store yep. and it locked up like Ooh. three back you know from the light and i was like fuck <laughs> so i just i i put it in drive and this dude's helping me push it and i just bang the gas until it breaks break you know <laughs> <laughs> so, so so then i like roll it down uh 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 you know like the turn towards the police station yeah. i roll it down there i roll i and then like i, I don't have brakes right mm -hmm. so i'm rolling it at like five it's like it's like a nice spot and then i pull off into the dirt and it like crashes it doesn't like crash oh, but like stops Christ. in the dirt you know yeah. so i put up the e-brake and i call a tow truck and i'm like and then i call my dad i'm like what the fuck do i do you know and as i'm talking to him, a cop pup comes up yeah. in an undercover car right undercover throws on their lights fucking ends pants, up behind dude. me and starts directing traffic and they come up to me this woman and she goes Hey, you need a towel. And I go, I'm aware. I called the tow truck. She goes, okay, well, I'm going to call a tow truck too. I go, no, I already called one. I called AAA. And she was like, yeah, but I have to call one. I go, no, you don't. Because the AAA is going to be free. And she goes, yeah, but you might have to pay a little bit of money. I was like, not for AAA because I pay for it. And she and she started like tweaking out. She was like, no, I have to call you a tow truck. And I was like, no, you don't have to call me a tow truck. And she goes, it's policy. I go, so it's policy. It's not law. And she goes, yeah. And I go, if you go anywhere near my car, I'm going to have to demand a supervisor. And she was like, what? I go, I'm off the road. I called a personal tow truck. You're not going to make me pay $400 to get my ship box out of the impound. I'm not doing that. It's worth less than that. <laughs> you know? Oh, my God. It's worth only that much in scrap metal. And she was like, she was like, okay, well, there's no need to get, like, uppity. I was like, uppity? uppity? You can't make me pay two of my paychecks because I wasn't making that much at the time. She was like, I can't. you can't make me pay two of my paychecks to get my – Shit box out of the impound. Two weeks later, it was total, by the way. <laughs> that bitch can kick rocks. <laughs> 400? Get that yeah. shit out of here. It's yeah. Not I, but, so the tow truck came off the road, and she goes, oh, you got lucky. I go, no, I didn't get lucky because you weren't going anywhere in my car. <laughs> and then, and she was like, do you want me to still direct traffic? I go, no, I want you to leave. I don't want you here anymore. Like, I don't want you around. Dude, what did she start feeling bad after that? She's like, do you want me to direct traffic? I don't know, traffic? but I guess I, I talked to, because... Uh, uh, my uncle's a cop, and I talked to him about it, and he said that it's already taboo to pull someone over in a UC anyway. Like, you're not really supposed to do that unless it's, like, a serious emergency, like somebody's getting shot at. Like, they don't want undercover cops pulling over people randomly. Yeah. Like, like unless they're, like, actively doing something, but, like, what she did was, like, not allowed. Mm -hmm. Dude, what the fuck? Like, yeah. So one time, I was driving back to my house, and it was, like, 1.30 in the morning, 
and um, yeah, it's awesome. I was on the I was on the highway, uh, coming back to Marshall's Mills, and fucking all of a sudden my lights start flickering in my car, and then my headlights start flickering, and then just a big boom and sparks start flying up at me. Wait, in the car that you drive now? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. So uh, the person I'm with is freaking the fuck out, mm. and they're like, "Pull over, pull over!" And the lights are there's no headlights in the car, little dim. But uh, there's lights on coming, flashing at me in the thing. Alternator. And then, no. And then, um, so I thought we could make it back to you thought wrong. their house. Um, <laughs> uh, I go 30 seconds down the road, and then there's an even bigger, <laughs> and then just fucking everything flies at me, and then everything turns off, and everything locks up. And I'm like, fuck, I have no headlights. It's 1.30 in the morning. Everything flies at you as in? Like, like, like sparks fly at uh, up, like, I yeah, shit my fucking pants, dude. And I'm like, I'm like slamming on the brakes, fucking trying to like pull over the side of the road. And then I get, I was going like 75. She was also saying to slow down, and I wasn't, because I was thinking if I keep going fast, I'll make it there quicker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, valid point. It's not a good idea when your car is exploding at all. What else are you um, supposed to do, though? Yeah. So I got inside the, the road it. after my car exploded, and uh, then a cop um, was pulling over a drunk driver. And the truck driver started running and almost hit us as we were getting out of the car. Like, I was getting out, and he, like, skimmed by me. And then the cop pulled over and uh, sat with us. He was like, I'm pulling over a drunk driver, um, but you're here. So I'm here to help. And I was like, I just called AAA. He was like, well, you're on the highway. State tow. I was like, oh, fuck. So, yeah, yeah, I think that's rough. what you yeah, pull on me, but it wasn't a highway. It was, yeah, exactly. It was a lane. <laughs> yeah. It was a, it was a roadway. Yeah. I, 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 had had a, I had a I had a lot of problems with my Jeep when I had it. I don't mm-hmm. think you've ever been in my Jeep. Uh, I had an 05 uh, Wrangler, the one that was longer and wider. It was like limited edition. They only made it from like 04 to 06. I still have it. It's got frame rot. Dude, next Everything time. else is fine. Transmission 2016, a brand new radiator. Mm-hmm. And this is the story I want to say because I was driving to school in the morning and my radiator blew up. Oh my god! In my driveway, and I was like, "Well, I guess I can't go to school." My mom, <laughs> my mom already left for work, and she was like, "No, I'm coming to pick you up." I was like, "Come oh, on!" Fuck. I'd be pissed. I was like, "Dude, that's really just not like let me stay home, dude, because I gotta pay like seven hundred dollars for a new radiator now." And she was like, "No, you're going to school." I was like, <laughs> "This doesn't count as Get like a mental fucked. health day." Like, yeah. just, mental like, health day. I'm full of grief. Yeah. <laughs> Such <laughs> bullshit. Because I just fixed my control arm, so mm-hmm. I took I took the ra- oh, remember when the drive shaft fell out? I don't know if I was with you, but I remember you, you telling weren't me with shortly me. I, after. So I had to, I had to stop really short. Like this mm-hmm. dude cut me off, and then I'd like swerve, and I slammed on the brakes, and it doesn't have ABS because it's, it was made before 2005. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, like like 2010 years were made in 2009, so and I had 25, so it was uh, 2004, and it didn't have ABS. So I slammed it, the brakes locked up, and then everything stopped, and then I pull over, and it was clunking. My drive shaft fell out, mm-hmm. and uh, I pulled over, and I got it towed, and then. Two weeks after I got that fixed, which was like a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, I, uh, I w- there was a clicking noise, and I wanted them to look at it, and I brought it to them, and they said that the frame was rotted out and it's totaled. And I Ooh, said, you couldn't have told me that two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, cool. Not I wish you told me that before now. I fixed my drive shaft. God damn, we have so many mechanical issues with the shit that we fucking. Oh, and then the bus, um, and now my truck's in the shop right now. Yeah, the bus fucking what the fucking it wouldn't come out of park. Yeah, was, the transmission on Fourth of July, dude, that was ridiculous. Yeah, it turns out it was a fuse that blew. Oh, so it's like not a big thing. It's not a big deal, but it cost me two hundred fifteen dollars. The fuse, yeah. or for them to figure out that it was a fuse. Well, them to figure out that it was a fuse. And oh. then the the fuse is probably was, like yeah. They said that it was. Bucks. They said that it was the fuse that was connected to the transmission and the stop arm. And That's said, a pretty important. I was like the stop arm, and they were like. Spam cars all the time. I, got, I, got fuckers. I know. I got like 15 I've been calls like, who's yesterday. Been ignoring this whole time. You're I'm fucking like deck collectors. <laughs> 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 I've been I've been outrageous. Yeah, I need I'm help. Uh, my mass easy pass is way out of date. <laughs> <laughs> they, they told me that was gonna go into collections on the 30th. <laughs> is, are you for real? That's... Yeah, I'm for real. Oh my god. I can't get my license renewed this year. Excuse me. Do you need to get it renewed? I need to get the bus registration renewed oh. because because RVs because it's an RV now, so it has to get renewed every. Um. Uh, every year looks like it's gonna have and, to uh, fucking wait. <laughs> yeah, and you also can't get your. Well, I also don't have insurance on it right now. I let that lapse too because hey, they, you they know. wanted to charge me seven hundred dollars like the last week of October. I'm not doing that. Seven hundred dollars. I was like, no, 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 no. Fuck that, dude. 
So Fuck. I'm gonna go find new insurance. But it cost me. It used to cost me two hundred seventy dollars a month, and then I looked at my bill, and it said they want to charge me seven hundred dollars in October, and then three hundred twenty dollars every month moving forward. And I was like, I called them up. I was like, I don't want to do that. And they go, Well, you kind of have to. I go, I don't have to do anything. Fuck you guys. I'm not paying that. <laughs> yeah. They were like, Stick so it to them. They were like, So you're gonna let it lapse? I was like, Yeah, I'm gonna let that Absolutely. lapse. The you fuck? think I'm gonna pay that? Yeah. Fuck, fuck that. that. Fuck them, dude. Oof. Dude, I've been holding in a poop for so long, and it just got like that. You know when you know when you hold it in, and then it like kind of like you feel good for a minute. I'm finally back at that point. I don't know if I've ever I felt good. good I don't poop anymore, but I, yeah. that's why I've been up here for like ten minutes, dude. I'm like, yeah. He's like holding it. In. Gotta, it's okay. Gotta go, so we know. are we are coming to he, a close just, here, boys. Okay, all right, all right. It has been dude, so much fun. I, I I was supposed to leave 15 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> so we are holding Kellen up, but thank you for joining us again, and we're gonna have the studio for the rest of the episodes. My check.